Hey guys, Bird Dog John here. I need to go over the uh, process to change your camera over to the no sync version that's currently available for the P200, mainly because people have been uh, updating. We found a pretty significant couple of bugs, and so we're in the business of squashing that right now, trying to get it corrected so that people can get their production cameras back up and running. In the meantime, this is the uh, unofficial official way to fix that for now. And uh, we should hopefully make this video very irrelevant very soon. So here's a quick little walkthrough. I'm going to do it in real time so you can follow along and we'll get this taken care of. All right, the first thing we want to do is we want to take our USB stick that we use for our baseboard update and we want to get that prepared for another update. So we're going to go to, uh, we can type in, for, uh, open up the start menu and just start typing in the word format and that will come up with create and format hard disk partitions. Open that, and it's go whoops, and it's going to create a uh, a little screen that looks something like this. Uh, this little hard disk. This is the the permissions for that actual system, and um, this is what we're going to do to change over our USB. So we're going to click on the USB stick here. I did this already once, but I'm just going to reformat it just to make sure that it's done correctly every time. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to select delete. Uh, partition or delete whatever that said uh, and then we're going to go to new simple volume and here it's going to eventually open up a little wizard we're going to click through here I'm going to put in 2000 instead of the full quantity and that's going to create a partition that's just shy of about two gigs we're going to click through these things I want to change this to fat 32 I'm going to actually label it p200 oh not 2000 and click next and finished uh, what this is going to do is the computer is going to create a little 1.95 gigabit uh, partition. And if your computer allows it, it's going to open up the little uh, window to do that. Now, there is going to be a download link right below this video on the Knowledge Database for this firmware download that we have. And so this is called the uh, 20.11.3373-no sync. That's what this is. Um, and inside there, there are two hd20.bin files. Uh, these are the baseboard firmware updates because there are two different manufacturing runs for the baseboard from Bolin. And so we want to be sure that you update the correct one. If you've already done this and you're in this pickle, you know how to find out what your A number is. If you haven't updated or anything like that, please don't do anything until we announce that the update is ready. So uh, I've downloaded that folder. I know what mine is, and I'm going to drag it over into my new P200 thumb drive. Now I'm going to uh, disconnect that thumb drive. And I'm going to just close this all down. And you can see my P200 is here. So I'm going to take my thumb drive. I'm going to disconnect my P200, plug in my USB stick, and power up my P200 again. Okay, so I'll be right back. Disconnected. Plugged in USB. And now I'm repowering the camera. You can see that studio monitor has stopped because it's in the business of doing that. Now, if you have an LED light on your USB stick, which is super helpful, you'll see it blink a few times on boot up. That's good. That means that the USB port is actually reading that drive or trying to, and is going to take that new HD 20 dot bin file onto the camera. So uh, it's doing its little boot up dance right now. When we see it in studio monitor, we should be able to refresh this web page and get back to um, this, uh, that actual site right there. So uh, while we're doing that, I'm going to extract my firmware. I'm just going to dump that on the desktop and wait for the picture on the studio monitor to come back. So it only, should only take a minute or so. Uh, once that camera comes back online, we can take the USB stick out. We don't want it necessarily updating every time it boots. So I'm just gonna let that finish booting up and then I'll remove that USB stick. I've got my firmware on my desktop, which is where I want it. I see the camera. Let's see if she'll go to position one, which I believe she will. Uh, there is the new firmware version that's for the, on, the, on the stick and waiting for that to come back. So I'm gonna disconnect the USB now. And then here, I'm gonna see if that has actually, yep, come back. So type in my password. Studio Monitor now sees the camera on the network. It still shows that I have the old firmware version in here. So now I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna say uh, system, system update, choose file. I'm gonna to go to my desktop. And here I've dumped it on my desktop. It's called no sync. Open that and update. And that is going to give us the brand new no sync firmware that will hopefully fix our problems while we uh, sort out what's happening on the previous. So you can see 
My bird dog uh, P200 has stopped responding. It has got the correct baseboard to permit it to um, update. Going through that update right now, it really doesn't take very long. Um, there we go. Congratulations, your firmware is now updated. Your device is now rebooting. And so we're going to wait for the studio monitor to come back. And then we're going to verify that the no sync is actually happening and that I have control inside studio monitor. Because if you don't have control inside studio monitor or inside cam control, that means your baseboard did not update. So if I don't have control, that means that the baseboard and the firmware are not talking together. And that is going to be a problem. So you can uh, refresh this page as soon as the NIC card comes back online. It will take you to the web UI. We're going to see the lens come back on here in just a second after the camera initializes. And here we go, no sync. We have the no sync firmware now installed on our camera. That took me a grand total of six minutes to do. Uh, and if you have multiple cameras, that's good stuff. Now let's just try and move the lens. So there we can move everything. We've got full control of that camera. We can kind of cycle through here, see what we've got still available, all sorts of stuff here. And uh, we're good to go. So this camera should be pretty stable now for the next little while while we work on fixing a patch and getting you all of those cool new color features going forward. Okay, that's it. That's the whole process. Be sure that you are very intentional, very careful about how that goes. But again, less than six minutes and I am up and running with my P200. Hope this is helpful. Hopefully this becomes irrelevant very quickly and we will uh, talk to you guys in the next tutorial. Take care of yourselves. Be safe.